What's up, everybody? It's T-Squared here at the MLG 2012 Fall Championships. Eric, first impressions of Halo 4 so far? Uh, well, in my opinion, I love the game. I think it's the best shooter I've ever played. I think 343 really stepped up, took over a game that was struggling, and they made one of the best shooters out there. Dude, the game is so fun, bro. The game is just sick. It's really accessible. It's deep. It's just deep enough. You know, it's got tons of weapons. I think everyone's going to really have a good time with it. With Halo Reach, you know, it kind of felt like it was slapped on. It felt like they didn't really think it out, like, the whole way. Uh, but Halo 4, it feels like they really refined everything and really put time and effort into thinking through the abilities. Each Halo edition, it's been so different, it's been so changed. Uh, they just keep changing it, they keep moving forward, they keep adapting and bringing in other parts of different games that have been successful in competitive play. It seems the competitive versus casual argument in the Halo community has sprung up once again. For those of you unaware, Ready Up Live did a video showcasing pro Halo 5 players and how 343 don't listen to the feedback that they provide. 343 simply refused to process their input when asked about how to make Halo games better. Well, no fucking kidding. Like we talked about on this channel, 343 don't listen. They never do. That's nothing new. And at this point, it's to be expected. When we say jump, 343 say fly. When we say stop, 343 say go. Their ego is inflated. They have their own desired vision and they don't really care what we think or what we even have to say. But the sole reason I am doing this video is because this topic has sparked a lot of discussion and I wanted to visualize how things really should be in the future of Halo and onward with the franchise. Let's begin with a recent tweet from the competitive player T-Squared. He says and I quote, The problem I see with the current Halo community is the casuals saying, We don't want a Halo game built for the pros. Well guess what? I play Halo more than you've slept in your entire life. Multiplayer should be as competitive as possible. Casuals go play against Covenant. Right, so this tweet nearly shapes the situation. On one hand, you have the competitive players and players alike saying 343 should listen solely to the competitive community, build that competitive game. While you also have those who believe that 343 should listen to the casuals and make a game that shifts more towards the fun, casual style of gameplay. Which crowd of players should 343 listen to? one or the other. Well, I personally am of the belief that this whole entire argument is pointless, and 343 should have put one Halo community in favor of another. In the beginning portion of this video, you saw some clips showing what pro Halo players initially thought of Halo 4. They thought it was good. Straight Rippin even said it was the best FPS he's ever played, ever. And it didn't make sense. It was laughable. But most of all, it made me question if some competitive players even know what they are talking about. Halo 4's multiplayer was awful. That's what I think, and it's an opinion shared by many, right? But the problem is that competitive players thought it was great. Well, is it smart to give a couple of paid competitive players power over how the game should be played for everybody else? Is that even fair? Well, no, I don't think so. I think 343 should provide equal grounding. They should listen to some input from the competitive community, some input from the casual community, and leave it at that. And the reason I say this is because Halo has such a diverse pool of communities playing the game all at once. In other words, there are so many different ways the Halo community play and enjoy Halo. You watching this video, you might be a story player, you like to play Halo for the story, you like to immerse yourself in the Halo universe and the lore that it provides. You could be a player who just plays for the multiplayer like me, you like winning and achieving the highest scoring possible in your favorite playlists. You could even be a player who plays for custom games, you like to have fun playing Griff Ball, Duck Hunt, Infection. You could even be a Forge player who loves to create and share those kinds of experiences with people in the first place. Of course, there are many more that I didn't even include, but that's the entire point. Halo is known for having a wide variety of ways to play it, enjoy it, and whether you are a casual player or a competitive player. In a true Halo experience, it wouldn't ever matter. That's what's so great about classic Halo. You could play it any way you want to. The fact that we even have to partake in a discussion like this goes to show that 343 are clueless as to who their fans really are and why they all enjoy Halo. As I already said, the idiots at 343 didn't provide this concept of an all-inclusive Halo experience, but instead, they prioritize certain players over others. We already have two examples of 343 almost exclusively listening to each group over the other in the past. With Halo 4, 343 wanted to cater more towards the casual crowd of community. How do we make Halo easier? How do we modernize it so that it plays like other games that aren't Halo? The multiplayer was a mess. Creative class loadouts, perks, the much hated armor abilities, kill cams, and other elements were all tailor made towards pleasing the casual crowd. But by doing this, by favoring the casual crowd over everyone else, 343 destroyed what was left of the competitive scene for Halo 4. It wasn't Halo. Halo fans wanted to play a Halo game, not some hybrid bullshit with the name Halo on it, created just to rake in sales from the casual crowd of gamers who wouldn't even be playing a week from release. With Halo 5, 343 did a complete 180 and listened to the competitive community over the casuals. They would always say this in the advertisements, our main focus is esports now. How do we make an arena shooter that will make Halo the biggest contributor to the competitive scene like it once was during Halo 2 and Halo 3? 
and you'll probably remember some of the videos they had before. They went so far as to hiring a competitive team who took part in daily playtests just to make the game more balanced, competitive, and so-called fun. They brought back equal starts, equal mechanics, got rid of loadouts, ordinance, and the casual stuff from Halo 4. Great, you probably once said. That all sounds so good. But in doing so, 343 completely alienated the casual community with Halo 5. How so? What are you talking about? Well, they were so focused on making a Halo game that pleased the competitive that they forgot all about the casuals this time. And here I go again, talking about Halo's severe lack of content. No split screen, no big team, no social playlist, no infection, no cop, no oddball, no firefight, no forge, no all this important stuff at launch, equating to a piss poor excuse for a Halo title that paled in comparison to its predecessors in terms of content. Yet another case of 343 going 3 steps forward and 43 steps back. Can you see how listening to one community over the other really isn't a good idea? 343 don't care. They enjoy segregating an entire portion of their player base in favor of others. It doesn't make any sense. In what world would you possibly believe that forcing your players to give up the way they want to play for something else would ever succeed? No, what 343 need to do is go back to the basics. Stop trying to shoehorn a competitive versus casual environment into your games, but instead build a game that you already know will be successful. Just build a Halo game. Look back at what Halo 2 and Halo 3 did, and used those games to make a successful Halo game. Bungie didn't try to force certain play styles on their players. That was what's most important. They just made fun Halo games, and the players used the sandbox to craft their own ways to play. This worked for both the casual and competitive communities. Look, the casuals enjoyed Halo's multiplayer and had fun with custom games, Forge, Griftball, Super Bounces, Glitches, and all the other ways to enjoy casual Halo. Then the competitive crowds had their own ways to play too. They created clans, MLG maps and Forge, the BXB and Double Shot button combos in H2, map callouts, they even went so far as to making their own game settings for Halo 3. They removed the radar and increased base movement speed and damage modifiers to 110%. The casuals made their own ways to play Halo, and the competitive players made their own ways to play too. It was compatible to everyone. It was perfect. Back then, you didn't see, oh, Halo should cater to this community or that. No, you saw a foundation in which casual and competitive players could coexist simultaneously without infringing on each other's desired play styles. That's something that 343 don't seem to understand. They don't understand that Halo's unique formula allowed for all players to successfully play in tandem. Halo's biggest strength was that it could satisfy anyone. But nope, the company that was given the keys to the entire Halo franchise would rather tinker and mess with things to fit their own desired vision instead of making a Halo game suitable for their broad community of players. Ask yourself, when was the last time 343 created a Halo where almost all the Halo communities were satisfied? You can't, because they always prioritize one community over the other. We want our game to be casual this time. Oh, that didn't work, sorry. We want it to be competitive now, well no. Maybe you should look at how older games did it before and build a Halo title that implements those unique properties instead to satisfy your entire fan base. Overall, it just goes to show you even more that these people at 343 really don't understand anything about Halo and why so many players fell in love with the franchise. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, comment your thoughts and opinions on the topic, and lastly, subscribe to Weapons Grade for more content about the future of Halo and gaming in general. Peace.